So it seems we got more bad news for Tesla as we have a pause in production and yet another lawsuit. Um, what the heck is going on over there? I keep asking. <laughs> um, actually, I wasn't planning on doing another Tesla video today, but I mean, the news just, it, it just keeps on coming. So um, it's a holiday here in USA, but around the world it's not. And um, we'll go ahead and go over these things. Also, if you're new here, my name is Chris. I was a professor for about 10 years, and this is to help you navigate and grow. So let's start with this. This is a Tesla stock. Um, it's down 43% year to date. And, you know, I've always pointed out because I guys want to understand that I actually really like Tesla as a company. I think they make great products. Um, I like their CEO, but it doesn't mean that you pay any price for the stock, right? So um, clearly, if you paid 1200 for the stock, that was too much. Now it's paying at 681 And the question is, how much further can this go? Um, the thing is, they just keep getting bad news. Um, you know, I, I showed you guys this news briefly yesterday of the recall in Germany of the Ys and the threes. And I was thinking about how theoretically, and, and you know, this is more conspiracy theory kind of stuff, because I just, you know, I, I have no proof of this, but I just said theoretically, um, certainly recalls could be uh, instituted, by, instituted by the German government just to create more pressure on them, because this is, this is, this is real. Um, you know, the Germans and the Chinese make cars, right? And Tesla's building factories in the heart of, of uh, China and Shanghai, and, and they're you know building a factory. I believe it's at Berlin. Actually, it's Brandenburg is the um, particular place because it says right here, um, Brandenburg. Um, if if you can read German, the basic headline is um, the the plant in Brandenburg is is uh, halted. Um, we always refer to it as Berlin, but I, I think Brandenburg is like more of a district in Berlin probably. And for those of you who are familiar with Berlin, please let me know in the comments like exactly where this. Is. I, I can look it up on a map, but. For people who are familiar with it, will will know better of you know this opposed to just me looking at a map when I've never been there. Um, but um, the deals are just really interesting. Um, you know why uh, why are they shutting down? And so one of the things that I saw here it was um, longer than anticipated manufacturing time, lack of skilled workers. I thought that was interesting, um, and quality assurance issues. So I, I have no comment on. Um, you know, whether or not there's enough quality skilled workers in Germany, I, I, I don't know. Um, I mean, I, I just know that, you know, they make BMWs, they make Volkswagen, they make uh, Mercedes. So they have, definitely have workers who can build cars. Uh, you know, I don't know, maybe there's just not enough workers because they're already working at other factories, who knows? Um, or maybe perhaps the government is just putting pressure on, on Tesla. As I mentioned, I, I have no proof of that, but I was just thinking that I wouldn't be shocked because... Um, you know, I could see the same thing happening in China as well. There's something I wanted to mention to you guys before. You know, when you're um, challenging, uh, uh, you know, uh, foreign car companies in, in their home country, um, sometimes there might be a little bit of, you know, pushback. And especially in, in a place like, say, China, they, they maybe want their investments, because this is the Chinese government, and their investments in their companies to, to do well. And, and um, you know, Tesla certainly hurts their investment. So do be aware of these things. I'm not commenting on, you know, whether or not Tesla's a good car good company. I'm just talking about the actual doing business. And I think this is something that, you know, sometimes when you guys watch other channels and they're just Tesla cheerleaders, they're not realistic with you. And, and I want you to do well in the market and understand these headwinds. Um, this is the big headline though. So not only are you facing recalls in Germany um, and also uh, pausing the plant in both Shanghai and in um, Berlin, I guess, or the Brandenburg one, I should say. Um, so this says several weeks. Um, I don't know if I would I would phrase it as several weeks because it sounded like, and, and who knows, I mean, I, I don't know exactly you know, what's gonna happen in the future, but it sounded like the plan as of now is a few weeks. Um, the basic gist of it is um, they want to kind of just clean up the process of uh, pr you know, producing these uh, Tesla 3s. I think those are the popular ones. And you know, that might be retraining, it might be retooling, stuff like that. Um, so it doesn't necessarily mean halt in production, just pausing to um, streamline or to improve. So we'll see if they come back stronger than ever. That's what they're saying on the surface, you know, who knows. Um, but the fact is uh, they are pausing for a couple of weeks at least. So I'm not sure about this set of several weeks thing. Um, so just take that part with a grain of salt. It, it's, when I read it, it sounded like a couple of weeks, um, but you know, who knows in this world, uh, especially if, if Shanghai goes on lockdown again. Um, I keep keeping tabs on uh, what's going on with China and COVID. Um, also too, um, there was a, um, you know, down in sales just because they can't produce enough cars. So, you know, they, they certainly have demand there, but you gotta be able to make the cars to sell them to people, right? Um, and then the other thing too, which I wanna bring up with you guys is there's this new lawsuit. So this is a new one evidently um, by 15 people and they're, they're alleging, uh, these, are, these are black employees are alleging um, essentially uh, racism at the plant. 
And it's interesting because um, I have the whole uh, court filing here. It's very long. It's 105 pages. I've looked through it. Um, if you want to read through the whole thing yourself, you certainly can. Um, anytime you have these kind of issues, this is just how the world is, unfortunately, people already have their mind made up. So I am not one of those people. Um, I don't have my mind made up. I, I don't say there's always racism. I don't say there's always not racism. I'm just not that kind of person. Um, I usually read through the things and see if it sounds reasonable. And then I just go along with whatever the courts decide because um, I believe in the rule of law. So like I said, everyone's going to have a different opinion on it always is the case, unfortunately. People just have their mind made up before reading through it. Um, I did read through some of this stuff. It, it, sound, it sounds like, I mean, they, they name the people. They name the people like, you know, who they're accusing directly. So it's not just like just made up and it's not anonymous. Um, it's all public. And there's several named people in here. And, you know, some of this stuff is, is pretty particular, but it, um, how to say, it, it was some weird stuff in here. Like, uh, you know, I guess some employees were throwing stuff at others. This is, you know, I'll say accusations or alleged because I, you know, I can't verify that's what a court case is or a, a filing is. You have the N word was in here. You can just see here, um, evidently KKK symbols around, and and some of the female employees felt like that they were catcalled. Um, it, it's it, one of the things I, I will say when I, when I was reading through this stuff. It reminded me, if if you guys know history at all. Um, Back in Hawaii, and this is just from history class, they, they used to divide up the plantations, um, and those would be sugar plantations, to different racial groups, and, and they would, it would be a way to divide workers. Um, one of the things that you do as a, um, as a controller or, or master, <laughs> I want to call the word you want to say, manager, um, is you just want to keep your workers divided so that they're fighting with each other and not fighting for more pay on, on the management. And this is something that's always been frustrating in, in the USA if, if if indeed the poor groups are fighting amongst themselves, they, I mean, the reality is we should all be coming together and like fighting for each other to all get equal pay. But um, that's sort of something that's been going on now. Now, whether or not this is happening at Tesla to where, you know, you convince groups to fight each other and, and not, you know, unify to have better treatment for all, uh, I don't know. Um, but, um, you know, I, I wasn't thrilled about the kind of things. I don't want to repeat any of the comments on here, but just there's a lot of comments about people's appearance and, you know, many of the black workers felt like they, they were sort of um, passed over for promotions, that kind of thing. So, um, like I said, most people already have their, um, you know, yeah, I can just read these all here. I don't want to read this stuff out loud, but <laughs> you guys, like I said, it's, it's all here. I, I just want to say that there, there is a real, uh, what do I want to call it? There's a real court filing that you could read for yourself. Um, and, you know, there's a lot of words that, you know, I don't want to say on YouTube and, and things like that. And, and um, the, the, the treatment um, also sounded like that, Workers did go to HR, but HR wasn't too responsive. Um, so, you know, I, I don't know. I don't know. You know, we've had multiple cases like this, so I, I, can't, I can't attest to the validity of any of these things. Um, I can say that, you know, usually we'll, we'll, we'll you know, find out um, towards the end if, if there's you know, money paid or not. My, my personal feeling is whenever there's money paid, um, there's usually wrongdoing. That's, that's just my opinion. Um, I, I don't think that's a crazy opinion to take. Uh, some people say... No, no, they just want to pay and keep it quiet, but they didn't necessarily do anything wrong. I, I, I'm not sure if someone does that. Um, I, I, you know, they could, uh, but like I said, uh, any of these kind of things, people usually have, already have their mind made up. Um, I don't, and, and um, you know, I read through this stuff. It didn't sound crazy to me, but, you know, I, I, I don't know. I, um, I can't comment because, like, some of the stuff... Um, you know, I don't, I'm not around essentially auto workers <laughs> and it, you know, I, I don't know if auto workers are actually throwing stuff at each other. And, um, if they're, one was like, are they tackling each other? And if they, you know, t call each other, um, uh, fat, essentially that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, maybe. And, and I guess the other thing is too, like this, let's just use the fat one, for example, is, you know, people do joke about that kind of stuff. Um, but you know, whether or not you would use racial terms is another thing. And also, too, is it appropriate to talk about someone's weight? Just for example, um, they'll talk about people's hair and, and that kind of stuff. So there's a bunch of stuff in there. And, and um, yeah, I, I, I don't want to repeat some of this stuff, but you, you can certainly read it for yourself if, if you want to, you know, test the validity of this stuff. Um, it doesn't, you know, it's not great when your company has these kind of complaints against it. Um, and uh, this was filed, you know, uh, June 30th and you know just a few days ago so you can easily find it um, if you want um, and uh, I'd love to hear you guys' opinion on if you think this has uh, validity or not to it so um, that's what's going on with Tesla again they're, they're halting or, or I should say freezing you know pausing what's our word temporarily pausing that's a good word um, for at least a few weeks uh, both in Shanghai and in 
um, Berlin, and that will certainly uh, slow the amount of deliveries they can do um, in the next report. I believe their earnings report is in a couple of weeks. Um, you know, I, if I had to guess, uh, Tesla stock will face some pressure this week, plus with the, with the down market, but you know, your guess is as good as mine. Um, I, I have already showed you guys numbers several times before. It, it does trade at a very high valuation. So for me personally, uh, I don't want to pay a forward PE of, you know, 50s or 60s. Um, I, I think, you know, maybe the 30s and 40s is, is actually, even though that's high for most companies, that would actually be fairly reasonable for Tesla. So, um, you know, we'll see. I, I uh, could also see a world where Tesla just trades flat for a while as well um, because they are profitable. But this is very real. If they can't produce cars for any whatever reason, who knows whatever reason it's going to be, um, you know, you can't sell any cars. If you can't sell cars, you don't, uh, um, you don't get revenue. So uh, one of the things that I think is important for a company like Tesla is you, you got to keep pumping out cars because your competitors are coming up very, very quickly. Um, Volkswagen seems to be the one that um, would be most likely to really challenge Tesla. And I think Hyundai would be next. And then BYD, which is the one in um, China, is a, is a threat as well. So that's my thoughts on these things. Love to hear your thoughts. And um, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.